Tell me when you're ready, you bitch. All right, well, I want to start the episode with that so everybody knows the kind of abuse that goes on behind the scenes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a joke. It's not a funny... <laughs> it, it doesn't stop when the cameras turn it off. Stop. It never stops. This is, this is what I have to deal with in this toxic work environment. Uh, real quick, before when we When you do, wear that skirt to the office, it makes me act a certain way. You're about to make me do something I regret. <laughs> You're about to make me act up. <laughs> Excuse me while I enjoy the view. <laughs> oh my my, what do we have here? Have you seen that? So remember the guy what? that did the- Turns her around. Would you like to wake up to that every morning? <laughs> Couldn't you imagine waking up next to this every morning? Ooh. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Guys, here in the Super Mega Office, we have a strict code of sexually harassing our employees. That's not... I'm gonna kill that joke right there. <laughs> Imagine- Because there's those people that don't know what- when we're joking. You know what's the classic- the classic, uh, situation to put a very masculine southern man into? What? Having really bad farts next to a pretty lady. <laughs> I don't care who you are, whether you fought in Vietnam, or the Gulf War, the Iraq War, you're gonna be embarrassed if you lay a mean one next to a very pretty lady. Like or, that, or a little pretty man. Like that time we're fucking walking out at night, and there's two beautiful women sitting on a fountain, and we walk by, and <laughs> Ryan just goes, <laughs> Matt! Oh, stinky, stinky! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I was legitimately mad in that moment. <laughs> Pee Wee. Cause nope. it's like, it's like, I'm embarrassed, it's like, it, like yeah, I'll who never see- embarrassed like that? It's I did, funny. dude, okay, I'm never gonna see those girls again, and exactly. I obviously never had a chance with them to begin with, but in that moment, in that fleeting moment where I walk by, that is, that is, that is like the little moment we share. Y'all are gonna have kids and shit, dude. Well, I'd like to think that maybe they'd always think back and be like, I remember that one really hot guy that walked by that one time, <laughs> like, I wonder whatever happened to him, but now that memory is gone, and it's just, Man, you farted. Stinky, you stinky. Think they, you think they, like, they, back to this day, is like, Oh my god, Jessica. Oh my god, I had the same dream again. Have you ever heard of love at first sight, Ryan? I had the dream about the man. About the man that walked by at the fountain. And his friend went, Stinky, stinky. <laughs> what do they mean by that? Uh, but that could be real. Like, they could always remember that I for some Diane. reason. I, I had the same dream. What? I had the same exact dream. If that was happening, that means I have to get married, because that's like some prophecy. No, so, I, was, I was more, I was, Justin, add some horror music to when that was happening. That's the tone I was going for. Can my sister stop <laughs> calling me? Okay, hold on. Sam, I'm trying to record some dang-ass, freaking ass Let's Plays. Now, be nice to your sister. You owe her a lot. What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, we're recording right now. What's up? Uh, a, a let's play. Your favorite. <laughs> what are you playing? Animal Crossing for the GameCube. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Just say it. I've never played Animal Crossing. Is that what you were thinking? No. Okay, well, what are you, what are you thinking? I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking. No, no, Sam. You have to say it. You can't just, you can't just tease me like that. Animal Crossing is not a game for ten year olds whatsoever. Let me let me tell you something. Animal so Crossing is beloved by so much raw I, everyone I know plays Animal Crossing. Is it beloved in the way that like man loves my little pony? No, no. Animal Crossing is nowhere near my little pony. Sam, don't talk about things you don't know anything about. Just like a woman. Yeah, I gotta I gotta keep you in your place sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna get back to. I was just about to ask about that. I gotta get going, Sam. Uh, we gotta- You're breaking up. We're back. Um... Your mom's back. <laughs> there it is. That's the humor they come and stay for. <laughs> it is. Let me show you something, Ryan. If- if- if I don't get them in, they're gonna- they're gonna start to fucking panic. You'll see it all on the subreddit in the comments. Ryan hasn't mentioned a mom joke! No, no, I don't wanna start it. I don't wanna start it. Now it's going to be a meme. Just like the That's Hollywood meme blew up out of nowhere. Wow. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> that man made a really nice edit again. The man that does the good 
<laughs> effects on our subreddit. He did the on the Medea screen. He had you eating. The oh, cockroach. I saw. I was blown away by that. It was on our subreddit. and It's on Twitter. Um, his name is. Um. You want to get his name wrong? I don't know his name. Should is I it Ryan something? I think so. Is it Ryan McGee? Ryan McGee. <laughs> should should you want to design? You want to design a shirt, Ryan? <gasps> yes. We can make our own clothes. I mean, a little fashionista. We could do. I want to do it. Oh wait, what about? Yes, yes, yes. Dude, I can make IKEA Waldo shirt. <laughs> what should we, what what shirt should we design? Um, th um. Oops. Fuck. God. Come on, dude. Um. It ain't that hard, brother. Shit. Um. How about I I I can draw you. Draw me. Yeah. Like a little uh. Watch. Do a black shirt. I know you love your black shirts. I do love black shirts. And then I can... Ready? I'm gonna draw you, okay? Yes. Okay, so your face comes down like this. Dips in a little bit. That's a little too much, but... Yeah. This is your head, okay? Ooh, like a peanut. A little peanut. You're the new uh, planter's peanut man. And then your hair is beautiful. It's gonna be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming, coming around, around the mountain, mountain when she comes. comes. She'll be coming, coming around, around the mountain. mountain. She'll, She'll be coming, coming around the mountain. mountain. She'll, She'll be coming, coming around, around the mountain, mountain when she when she comes. When she comes. Uh. I dare them to end a Superman movie where he's singing that at the end, crying into the sunset. What? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like if they had the balls to do that, it would be a good Superman movie, but they ain't. Well, there would have to be some kind of setup for that, right? Like, no, not <laughs> it's, not, just, it just, it's like a very straightforward Superman movie. And then like, it's like, it's like the part of the movie where he's going up to have his Iron Giant moment to go blow up a nuclear missile in space. And he doesn't know if he's going to be able to survive it because he's never tested his abilities that far before. And like he starts singing it, and then like everyone in New York and everyone in the world starts singing it at the same time, and it's just a chanting all around the world. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. And like it's like like echoing throughout the whole world. And he's singing it and he goes in and it explodes. And then people look up, and then you see their initial reaction, kind of like in the end of Birdman, and then it cuts to black, so you don't know if he survived or not. And it leaves it open for a sequel, but also leaves it open for like they're hopeful that he's still there because he's all about a symbol of hope. Fuck, dude. <clears throat> that was, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Superman writers. <laughs> Come on! What, what are you doing? Do it! I'm gonna make my Ikea Waldo shirt because I was designing you and then I accidentally deleted it. Um, and I don't feel like doing that all over again because that took a lot of effort. Is this Ikea Waldo? Yeah, dude. I'm actually gonna change to a faster tool. I'm gonna do the line tool. The line tool? What the fuck? What's the going fuck on here? What are you doing? Oh, I see. It's that. What? Watch this. Oh. Yep. God fucking damn it. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking draw it. That's so much faster. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm being such a fucking fool over here. Three? This one's... Th oh, wow. Watch this. So I fucked that up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fix it. I'll fix it at the end, though. I'm sorry for all the people screaming at their screens saying, FIX IT NOW! STOP! It's like a teacher who'd want to erase the last bit of the Dude. equation. Or they play a video on the projector and they leave the fucking computer mouse right in the middle of the screen. <laughs> yep. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> you Stop. freak! Knock it off, you fucking freak of a teacher! <laughs> I wish, like, looking back, if I had talked Long to- yellow, I know, dumbass. I figured it out, dude. <laughs> if I had talked to one of my teachers like that, like, it wouldn't affect, have affected me to this day, so why didn't I do it? Like, guys, just talk back to your fucking teachers. Don't. Don't do that. But the Let's Player said I did to do it. Yeah, but people who are young think with- think as if they know more than adults, but then as you grow up, and I, it's like you learn this along the way, it's like, oh, it's like- all this information is still the same, just through a different lens. Like, I didn't have to pay my rent when I was in school, and I was like, God, Mom, we're about to take it out of the trash! It's like, yeah, yeah because, be because, like, she was working all day, and, like, she also made dinner, and the least you can do is fucking take out the trash, you fucking asshole. Yeah, be nice to your parents, guys. They really do a lot for you. <clears throat> they gotta cook for do you. Do your chores, like, do the dishes and just shit. Fun, like, they're giving you free food and rent. So just fucking be nice to them, guys. But okay? if you're but if you're not living with your parents, then do then be be a good roommate, and but still be nice to your parents. Like call them every now and then. Uh, they miss you. 
What do you think of the Ikea Waldo shirt and hat I made? Looks nice. Yeah? It's you! You like it? We're playing as little Matt Watson. Yeah, look at me and my little rosy cheeks and uh... <laughs> you want a fish? I do. Here. I want a fish. Let me get you Holy this fuck. uh... Let me get you this fishing rod. I'm, I'm down. I'm down the clown. Here you go, bro. Catch that big one right there. It's probably a sea bass. Catch that fucking sea bass, bro. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh! Oh! No, it's no. gone. You scared it away. Oh, I gotta go find another one. Go find some more fish, bro. Let's see, uh, let's see what there is. Anytime you also- Ryan, anytime you want to play, I'd get up on that ledge, actually. Probably easier to catch it. Oh, the mic's down, the mic's down. Oh, Jesus. Ryan, anytime you want to play, or you're like, Hey, Matt, can I go fishing? Can I go design some clothes? Can I go furniture shopping? Or catch some bugs? Whatever you want to do, Ryan, I'll hand you the controller, and you can- You can veg out some Ooh. animal crossing. Oh, 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 you got, yeah. you got that sea bass. Woo! I always know when it's a sea bass, because they're always that size. There's some tiny ones. Oh, I can tighten this. Is your, is your mic all this? goofing? Oh. That that mic just sucks ass, dude. I'm sorry, Mr. Hansen. Uh, try again. Yeah, when we have the Super Megaplex, our mics are gonna be epic. Honestly, I really like that design, how it's clamped to the side. Well, table. we're gonna get better clamps. Yeah. We're gonna get we're gonna get clamps designed by the gods. The we're, gods we're themselves. Gonna, we're gonna climb the we're gonna climb Mount Olympus in Ecuador. And Mount Olympus, gonna... that's on Mars, by the way. No, it's on- it's in Ecuador. Mount Olympus is the biggest volcano in our solar system, oh, and it's on Mars. <laughs> Sorry to say, but the entrance to the Greek gods' mythological Olympus is in Ecuador. It's on Mars. You motherfucker. On the fourth planet from the sun. Oh my god. That's not a- that's not a gaslight, it is. It's... Olympus Mons, dude. Mount Olympus. Well, just like there's a Broadway here and like a Broadway in New York, it's the same street name, it's just a different place. Okay, fine. So what were you saying about the clamps then? We're gonna get them made. And they're gonna be great. And they're we're never gonna we're never ever ever gonna complain about them. They're the best clamps. Super Mega has the greatest clamps I've ever We're used. gonna get golden mics. Fuck, dude. Like, like dipped, Star. dipped in gold. Oh he has a gold mic. That's pretty sweet, dude. Then we're gonna have a subscriber counter. We're gonna have tin. We're gonna have, <laughs> just like how there's a that. whole wall is just gonna turn into an LCD screen that just counts our subscribers and goes, "You've just, you've just gained what you've just gained what you've just gained what." A little uh, giving us a little too much credit for how fast we get subs, but I think we should get like a like massive like think... turned up to eleven speaker. <laughs> you know, so it's like. <laughs> It's like, hey Ryan, uh, how's your day? Pretty good, man. Just uh, just got a brand new subscriber. I shouldn't put my. We mouth record on it in our voices, and then already blow it out, and then put it on a blown out <laughs> speaker. I blew my mom's speaker in her car once. You blew what? My mom's speaker in her car <laughs> once. That's gay, dude. <laughs> it's pretty gay. <laughs> God, that's so gay, dude. You blew your mom's speaker, dude. I want to. I want to start. Gay shit, dude. dude. Do you remember in middle school when like gay was just the word? I was like, dude, that's so gay. <laughs> yes, dude, that is so <laughs> gay. <laughs> ah, that would be the gayest. Even though like it had nothing to do with actually being gay, it was just <laughs> nope. used as like a like a bad word. It was like, <laughs> how would you? What would you say it was used like? It was like that's gay. Like that's stupid. That's dumb. Ah, uh, dude, that's like yeah. Also like, but it's like. Ah, oh, that would be the gayest, like, if you don't want to- It's so funny because it's like, <laughs> you're describing things as gay, but they, like, like, things that have nothing to do with it actually being gay. Ah, oh, dude, that's so freaking gay. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, that recording session was so gay today. It was only- it was a negative, though. And that's yeah. ob obviously why we don't- no God, that movie that was anymore. gay! God, that was so gay! <laughs> God. We actually, we actually knew someone who's a grown adult that said that movie was gay. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually pretty funny. We both looked at each other when it happened. We we're like, "What?" I thought it was a good movie. I didn't think the movie was gay at all. I loved it. Listen, we looked at each other. We're just like, "Wait, did that really come out of this person's mouth?" <laughs> that was gay. What are you talking about? That was gay. What do you mean that movie was gay? <laughs> what does that mean? That movie's gay. It wasn't a movie about homosexuals. Like nothing homosexual. Oh, did our mom send us a In letter? In fact, that's a, it's a science fiction movie. That, pro that I don't think had any uh, themes of homosexuality in it. Yeah, but it's still gay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> dear Borat. Wait, my, my dear Borat. Your father and I made a pleasant day of shopping yesterday in the next town over. I picked up your favorite treat. Caramel covered goo nummies. Nummy, yummy, gooey. Your dad Love spattered. Mom. Never mind. <laughs> your, your dad, dad, your dad, your dad spunked a little. Gummies. 
So I changed it to the middle of the night so we could uh, go fishing and They're catch some sleeping. different ones. They're all sleeping. Is that a mustache or their mouth? It's a mouth. Okay, it's good. emerald. That sure was a nice nap, sproing. Ah, Borat, what in the world are you doing here? Why are you sleeping outside, bitch? Uh, okay. Well, let's... She's gonna go inside. Let's go catch some bugs and some fish at nighttime to expand our collection. Um... Because you can catch different ones. And I'm actually gonna turn the music up, because the middle of the night music changes every hour. Just like... It's so peaceful. Can you get the soundtrack to this? Yes, you on can. On vinyl? You can probably press it yourself. You can buy it in Japan, like, as a CD. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Dude, you post that one right next to one of your Walking Dead memes. <laughs> he'll go, he'll go, where's Coral? And she'll go, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> yes. Dude, we gotta make it, it ain't nobody got time for that over, shirt. Over Lori's face. Dude. <laughs> <sighs> then Herschel go, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm dead. Spoilers. I only watched My the first got three cut seasons. Off. His head did get cut off, didn't it? Yeah. We could spoil the first season of The Walking Dead, right? I don't care. Like, who fucking gives a shit about The Walking Dead? That was that's the th that's like the third or fourth season. I think that might be the fourth season. No, I didn't get where the Herschel gets his head cut off. Wait, who cuts his head off? The governor. Oh, yeah, that is later on. Whoops. <laughs> I'm thinking of Dale. I'm thinking of that dude that died. Dale. Yeah. What are you talking about? There was a character in the first season named Dale that was in what? love with one of the younger girls, and he got killed by a zombie. What? Yeah. Dale. There's a character named Dale, an old white man. I'm not making a there's joke a about my dad. There's a character named Daryl. I don't know who Dale I'm is. I'm pretty sure there's a character named Dale. What? Look up Dale the Walking Dead. Okay, Dale the Walking Dead. Is he the f heavy set Mexican dude? No, there's no heavy set Mexican dude named Dale. Is he the wife abuser? No, he was like a sweet old man. Check out what I caught. You mean Her Herschel? Woo! A I red snapper! I'm almost certain- Oh, okay, yeah, you're right! The old man! Yeah, 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 yeah! I thought, you were, I thought you were telling me he was young. I was like, there's no young no, man No, there was a- remember? Dale. And he was in love with that younger girl. And they but, killed him off of the show because he was best friends with the sh uh, with the uh, original director who they fired. Is that why? I mean... Who- I mean, it's speculated. It's also speculated that he's like, I don't want to work for the show anymore. Fuck you guys. Yeah. He was the guy that, uh, he died in a very, like, horrible fucking way. He yeah. got disemboweled in a cow field. Dude, you know you're fucking Walking Dead. <laughs> I watched it in high school. I haven't watched Walking Dead since high school. Justin, funny clip of him going, uh-oh. Got a barbel Steve. That's funny. He looks more like a fish than I want to catch a new fish. I just caught two new fish. Damn also, it. I'm looking out for bugs because there's a lot of rare ones like beetles at nighttime. Ah, uh, bahooey. Um, you want to catch bugs. one? Bugs are great. Look at our collection. Look at this. Ready? Knock it off, wise guy. Look at our fish collection. Look at our bug collection. I don't see a cricket in there. Because we haven't caught one yet, Ryan. When do crickets come out? Why did you put a cockroach in our house and not a roly-poly? I didn't actually even show that yet. Oh, fuck. I didn't show that yet. Let's go into our house. Uh, let's have some oh, late shit. night. Did I spoil? Did I spoil? Uh, yeah. Did I spoil your spoils? You, you spoiled You spoiled what I was going to shock the viewers with. But uh, that's fine. I'll just go show them anyway. It's the middle of the night. Let's go play around in our house and reorganize our furniture because uh, our house does not look good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just fucking. You know what, dude? How big can your backpack get? That's as big as it gets. So, uh, the new one you can uh, stack like fruit and stuff though. Ready for this? Ready for this? One thousand bells. Uh uh. We're gonna what? we're gonna make a little investment that we're gonna get some return on. Ready? What? Boom. Excuse me, did yep. you just plant a money tree? Yes, I did. Go back down. <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, yes, Mr. McGee, I'll catch it. Hold on, just... Shh. Oh, jeez. It's behind the house. I can't... How am I supposed to know if it even bites it? Will there be... Will there be a vibration in the controller? Oh! That was purely by luck. I was trying to pull it back up. Wow! Hey, you caught a large bass. It's pretty big, I guess. Dude, I didn't that even know it good. bit. I was like, uh, I'm gonna go. No vibration. Yeah, there. I was gonna go from another angle, and I just somehow caught it. Wow. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's go donate this shit, and then we'll go reorganize our furniture. No! Huh? What? Look what Pee Wee's. No! I'll have lost my patience and moved on to another town. Story of my life. But like everyone else in every town I've ever been to, I'm sure you'll be happy to see me go. No! No, 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 okay. no, 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 He's no, no, thinking no. about moving out. Holy Not okay. shit. Not okay. Okay, this is, this is an emergency. emergency. This is a big fucking emergency. I, I you have You muted get... the TV. Where's the remote? Did I mute the TV? No, it's okay, actually, because it's coming out I didn't out mute the, the TV. 
Uh, what? you say your name is Borat, right? And you live in Acre B3. How do you feel about, oh, say, a- <gasps> Please, please give me a pair. I need more fruit. When's your birthday? Uh... Okay, I will send one to you on your birthday. Let's set our birthday, like, soon. So okay. if he's gonna send us a pair... Okay, let's just do March 15th. The Ides of March. Okay, sure, I'm a Pisces. That's right. And which of these would you describe yourself as? Uh-oh, what's a Pisces? What What is, like, a Pisces known as? I don't know. What? We're a fish. Yes, but what 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 is like a Pisces personality? I don't know. Uh, is this like a quiz? Pisces. Should I say party animal? I see. Gar har har. I'm a master getting people to divulge their secrets. Okay, never mind. It wasn't. So he's. How do we how do we convince him to stay? We have to make him like us by doing a bunch of tasks. Um, in the next episode, we're going to do some tasks for Pee Wee, rearrange our furniture, and what was the other thing I said we were? Oh, donate. Donate the new fish we got. We still haven't shown them the inside of the house. We'll okay. do that next episode. It's a big surprise, guys. Here we go. Goodbye. Um, sweet. Sweet.